Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot and today I'm doing a reading for Pisces. So I thought I'd do something a little different today. One of my followers, Marcus, has been telling me that he doesn't want me to use oracle cards and to use um, the tarot and do tarot traditionally. So I'm going to do it today for Marcus. I do love using the kippers, but I will try something different today. Why not? And I'll shuffle the energy through the cards one more time, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please, spirits. Messages for Pisces. So we have the world, Capricorn energy. Five of Wands. The Six of Swords. The King of Swords. The center of your reading today, Pisces. Is the Queen of Wands. Then you have the Seven of Swords. The train is just about to pass. Then we have the Moon, the Devil, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. On the back of the deck, you've got the Six of Cups and the Tower. This tower's been coming out the last few days for the Pisces Collector, so something is coming in to shake up some something in your life. Something's coming in. We'll get some clarifiers out on these and See what Divine would like you to know today. Okay. What is this world? What is this world? So you have the Five of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. On the back of the deck, you've got the Chariot. So we have the world coming out. Capricorn energy, as I said, I feel like, you know, this is the start of the reading, Pisces, so there could be somebody at a distance. I feel this person's energy is, they're not being able to sleep at night over something in their mind, something that they are thinking about. It's obviously something to do with you as it's coming in your reading. You know, this doesn't have to be a lover, this could be, you know, someone that lives at a distance, that could be a friend, a family member, but this person is watching you. We've got the Page of Swords coming out, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that could be in their chart. There could be an age difference with this person also, but this person is watching you. I feel this person is sad about some kind of ending, something that was spilt in the past, not right not realizing the care and love that you still have for this person you know as i said this could be a friendship this could be a relationship this could be a family member we've got the chariot coming out on the back of the deck cancer energy that could be in this person's chart but i feel like this person is moving towards you 
I feel like you don't know this. What is the Five of Wands? What is this Five of Wands? I feel like arguments between you and this person. No, I feel like the situation you did walk away from, it was unfulfilling for you. We've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So this situation, as I said, did cause conflict in your life. There could have been you and others fighting over this person. We've got the Seven of Cups coming out and the Four of Pentacles with this Seven of Wands in reverse. So to me, there was some kind of conflict in the past. I feel like you are holding back on this situation. You know, you took all, you know, you took all your coins, you took everything of yours and you, you left that situation. And I feel like at the moment now you're in this nine of, sorry, you're not in this nine, you're not in this seven of wands energy of, you know, you're not fighting anymore. You're not fighting for your rights anymore because I feel like you, this situation, you were looking at it with rose colored glasses on as to why the seven of cups is coming out. This person also could be someone online because they do live at a distance. What is a six of swords? We've got the two of wands. The page of wands and the ten of pentacles in reverse. On the back of the deck, we've got the lovers. So this was some kind of choice for you to move on from the situation or not. And I feel like you have with the Six of Swords coming out, Pisces. This situation was unfulfilling. I feel like you were at a crossroads, though, because this wasn't everything you desired. The situation wasn't everything you desired in your past. You know, it did not give you a happy home and everything you needed. We've got the Page of Wands coming out though, so I feel like this person wants to come in with some kind of good news while you are, you're walking away. You know, because we've got the Page of Wands coming out, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You know, you're making this trip and you're embarking on this new journey, but I feel like this person wants to come in and say something to you. We've got the King of Swords coming out in your current energy. What is this King of Swords? We've got the Three of Cups. Justice. Libra energy. And the Star. Aquarius energy. So I feel like you know this person is going to come in. You know, you turned your back on the situation. This person could come in and out of your life a lot. But to me, you knew the situation was going to come back around again. You now you are the high priestess, you are Pisces. But I feel like this person, you know, we've got the King of Swords coming out, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This doesn't actually have to be an X because this, there's no Knights coming out here. There's some kind of King coming in, someone that's a logic thinker. They could have Air in their chart, as I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They don't have to, they don't actually have to be male either, just in this masculine King of Swords energy of using logic over emotion. But to me, I feel like they look at you like some kind of star, you know, they watch you online. But I feel like this person wants balance. This person wants everything with you. They want to celebrate. You know, they could be part of your family. They could have Libra in their chart. But this person wants celebration with you. They want... They want you. We've got this Queen of Wands in your center of your reading today, Pisces. What is the Queen of Wands? We've got the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're in this Queen of Wands energy. You're... You're always in this Queen of Wands energy. You are, you know, creating. You know, living up to what you desire in life. You have everything you need around you. You're making the money. You're, you're doing something right in the material world at the moment, Pisces, because it's coming on in. 
Queen of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You're fighting for what you believe in. I feel like there's someone coming in, though. You could have two energies around you also, Pisces, what I'm thinking, because I feel like you're in this Four of Swords energy. I feel like you're healing. You're moving on from that bad pass. But to me, it looks like there's two knights that are coming in. We've got a knight of cups, someone wanting to come in with emotion, someone wanting to come in with communication, some kind of truth. Both of them come in and out of your life. They could, they don't have to, but these knights have missions. So these... This knight has a mission of wanting to give some kind of emotion. And this knight is wanting to come in with some kind of truth. The knight of swords is, you know, one of the fastest moving cards of the tarot deck. So this knight could be coming in to stop this knight coming in, if you know what I mean. Because this, this knight to me looks like they're already here. So you could have somebody in your life already, Pisces, that's giving you love or giving you something that you desire and I feel like this knight wants to come in and stop it all so we have the seven of swords what is the seven of swords you know it looks to me that you're focused on you know going with the flow of life and focusing on the future Still got that nine of pentacles. So there's someone looking at you like you're in this energy. You don't need them or anything around you. You know, you're very balanced. You know, you have this higher calling in life when you're spiritual. You don't need others. You just need yourself. Got the seven of swords coming out. So I feel like someone ghosted you in the past. I feel also that they're also hiding something. We've got the moon coming out, Pisces Cancer energy. That could be in their chart. But there's something hidden. Even though it's hidden, you know, this is the path you're supposed to take because we've got the moon coming out. Everything happens for a reason. That Them hiding something is pushing you on your path and making you learn lessons in life but to me this person does want to come in with emotion this person is hiding that they that they care about you they're hiding it and they're not sending these messages I feel like the messages that they want to send they do want to tell you how they feel but I feel like this is going to be delayed there's a hold back they're holding back from telling you how they feel what is this moon we've got the two of pentacles the three of pentacles and the high priestess so the six of pentacles So to me, Pisces, I feel in the future, you've got a path to follow. You do not know what's in the future. As I've been saying, you're going with the flow of life. Whatever comes in, you make the decisions that you're supposed to make. You know, using your boundaries and using your logic and not your emotion to make those, those decisions. And that's pushing you down the path that you're supposed to be following. You don't know what's ahead of you. You don't know you know, what you're supposed to be ending up doing in the future. But whatever it is, you're going with the flow of life. We've got the High Priestess coming out, Pisces Cancer energy. I felt you're in this energy at the moment. I felt this all through the reading today, Pisces, that, you know, you're very intuitive. You know, there's a higher purpose for you. And you're following it. You're following divine. Pearls could be coming out to you. But to me, you're hiding, you know, I feel like you're hiding your plans. You're hiding your plans behind this veil. 
and you're not telling anybody what's going on. And I feel like, you know, you may be juggling about some kind of decision in your life, about collaborating with somebody. You know, this could be with, with work, this could be with love, this could be with family. But to me, I feel like you know that there's going to be some collaboration in the future. Someone wanting you to give to them. But you're going to be in the position of you don't know whether this is right or not. I feel at the moment, you know, you're in this energy of giving to the right people. And I feel this person is this person that's wanting to come in and wanting something from you. And you're going to be in this juggling of whether you want to give it or not because you've had you've had a past with this person so this person could mean a lot to you this person could be a soulmate this birth this person could be someone that you're chained to because you've got the devil coming out next what is this devil you know just as i was saying we've got the two of cups I'm not taking all those cards, but I'll take that and I'll take that one because I've seen those both. On the back of the deck, we've got the Hermit. So as, you know, you're following the path, you're following the star. But to me, there's some kind of something that's holding you back, Pisces, someone that you feel connected to. We've got the devil clarifying the devil, Capricorn energy. That could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be. It could be in your chart. You could have fire in you, but to me it feels like you are you are addicted to some kind of connection that was over. That This person betrayed you. This person put ten swords in your back. This person, you know, you need to look at the pros and cons. You know, what has this person done for you? Have they done anything for you that was what you wanted? Because to me, I don't think you wanted this. You know, as I said, I've been feeling this is some kind of soulmate, someone that you had a connection with, someone that was your everything at a time. And to me, it feels like you're still chained to that chain with this person. You need to set yourself free. But I feel this person is in your energy also. This person feels chained to you. So we've got two aces coming out. And I love that. What is this ace of swords and this ace of pentacles? So we have the three of swords. The king of wands. And the Queen of Swords. So there was some kind of ending with you and this person. I feel like some kind of heartbreak, some kind of three-party situation. This person, King of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, that could be in their chart. It doesn't have to be. This person is a person of fire, passion, a person of lust, not love. But I feel when this person comes in, I feel this person's very, very passionate about you. This person is a soulmate. They're chained to you. You know, they feel chained to you. But I feel like they're going to come in passionately. And there's a bit of growth on this, on one. So there is a little bit of a past with you guys. But to me, he wants to come in passionately. And I feel you're ready for this because you're coming out as this Queen of Swords air energy gemini libra aquarius using your logic you're gonna listen to what they have to say but if it's not what you want to hear i don't think you're gonna go along with it because you've you know you've left this choppy water for safer ground you could have done that with others you could have family that have moved along with you this person could have hurt you and your family <clears throat> okay so we'll see what these two last cards are because someone's, someone's wanting to come in with some kind of truth and communication 
wanting to give you a new start at something. But, you know, you're going to use your boundaries. Yeah, you're a changed person now, Pisces. But to me, there's some kind of tower that's going to happen when some kind of soulmate does come back into your life or into your life. Okay. What is this Six of Cups? So we have the Four of Cups. The Emperor. And the Lovers. On the back of the deck, we've got the Page of Cups. So there could be an age difference between you and this person. They could have water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio some kind of soulmate they could have aries in their chart but to me i feel like they missed an opportunity in the past i feel like they see this cup now we've got the lovers in reverse so the lovers gemini energy you know the lovers is making a choice i feel like this person wasn't making a choice. You know, the choice was delayed. But to me, they see this cup now and they're bringing this cup to you. So when they come in, they've made the choice. What is this tower? You know, tower, Aries energy. What is this tower for Pisces? We've got the Empress Taurus energy. Did I see something? Yes. The King of Cups and the Hanging Man. So to me, Pisces, I feel like you are this Empress, Taurus energy. You're birthing new ideas. You are the Divine Femme. Balance with the Earth. I feel, in, I feel you're balanced with nature. You're very spiritual. You could be very into astrology. But there was some kind of moment in your past with this person. This person caused the tower moment in your life. So something that wasn't built on steady foundation. They could have Aries in their chart. They could have water in their chart. But to me, you're going to sit in this self-sacrificing energy. We've got the hanging man coming out. Pisces energy. Sitting and self-sacrificing deciding whether this was the right thing for you when this person does come in so i'll just see if i can grab some more info on this tower spirits tell us more about the tower please tell us more about this tower so the page of pentacles earth energy this person you know this five of cups keeps coming out on the back of the deck <coughs> sad about the past the soulmate you know they they caused a tower moment in your life because something wasn't built on steady foundation so things happened because it wasn't built on steady foundation but i feel like this person is going to take some kind of leap of faith and i feel like they're going to come in and give you something material they could be offering a gift they could be offering love but this person wants everything with you then i feel like they have realized it So don't play the waiting game, Pisces. Keep doing you. You know, you need to remember, you may have looked at this situation with rose-colored glasses on and 
You know, this person obviously had a past with you and it doesn't look like it was, you know, there could have been good moments, but there could have been bad moments too. And you need to remember, what did this person do for you? You know, look at the pros and cons. I love weighing up the pros and cons of things because... You know, you get your emotions in there and being a Pisces, you get really emotional and you care about people and, you know, you'll go the distance. But you need to remember and look at it like, will they go the distance? Because if they won't go the distance for you, do they, do they even deserve to be in your life? You know, because you deserve the world... You are a king or a queen or a princess or whatever you are in your own life. And you deserve the best. So always remember that, Pisces, okay? Messages for Pisces. I'm just going to grab out one all-seeing heart oracle card to guide us for the day. The Jewel in the Lotus. On the back of the deck, you've got cutting cords. The jewel in the lotus. You don't need to try so hard. Let your heart speak and trust when the time is right. What you seek will find you when your intentions remain pure. So release having expectations, going with the flow of life. I feel like you're doing that at the moment, Pisces. Just keep remembering to do that for yourself. Cutting cords. Reclaim your power by lovingly severing the energetic cords and ties, keeping you stuck on a subconscious and unconscious level. So both of those cards are about release, renewal, letting go, letting go of things that no longer serve you, and you will reach your highest potential. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this was your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for Pisces. Also, check out um, my Patreon. Check out my memberships on YouTube. I thank you all for donating. Super thanks. Everything you guys do for me, watching my channel, it means so much. Subscribing, having you all here every day checking your energy, connecting with you all, seeing all your different ideas. Like, I love hearing from you guys. Like, I love hearing from my subscribers. Like, shout out to Marcus. Like, I did love this reading today. It's nice to see what the cards are going to bring without having the kippers out also. But I do love the kippers. <laughs> but yes, you know, we might do a reading like this every now and again, but we'll see see how the energy is but i hope you all have a great weekend whatever you're doing enjoy it with loved ones and i will see you all again tomorrow bye bye